What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle, and we're back for some more madness and some more drama. What I want to do here is a follow-up on the tutorial that I did, my, my most recent tutorial, where we did a flyer. And we were trying to do some chrome, and I want to do a chrome, a, a more detailed chrome uh, video, chrome text, so that you can learn how to do it, get an idea of where to go, and kind of how to tweak tweak some little settings so that you can get more of a realistic chrome um, from Photoshop, just fresh from scratch. So the goal is to get the most realistic looking chrome or silver or platinum or whatever you want to call it um, just by using the tools strictly in here. And the goal is to make it look realistic. So let's attempt that. I'm, we're going to use a Cadillac logo because I found the Cadillac uh, font inside of dafont.com that's d-a-f-o-n-t.com and uh we're gonna go ahead and start with this so let's blow it up a little bit so we won't have a lot of um anti-aliasing or whatever the case may be and uh we're gonna try to keep it real simple let's go over to our um layer style and hit to get the get, we gotta get the bevel game going now y'all about to get your bevel game going on right now so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to select the inner bevel, we're going to chisel hard, bam, and we're going to um, leave it there for now. I like to hit down and uh, we'll turn up the size. Now we see, and the reason why I like, like to go down on this is because, I don't know, actually we, we might need to reverse it. I'll see, because I got to adjust some lights. Actually, the light looked like it's already set where it need to be. All right, so excuse my nose, excuse my talking, because I got a little cold, so you might hear a little gawking. Yes, yeah, so you always got to run. I'm going to turn up the soften to one, just to kind of not make it so rigid, and also to kind of remove some anti-aliasing. And um, maybe we can adjust the depth a little bit. And... Um, the angle and everything of the lighting is this is right here this is where i want it so if you wanted to copy or whatever i don't know and we'll know more after we actually get the contour going so um let's go ahead and add a gloss couture and i already got something made up uh, a lot of times you can really if you don't really know what you're doing you can kind of just down um, here cancel that man you can just hit your side button there and pick out one of these and we're gonna use these to doctor it up a little bit more. But as you see, I already got my settings. Right, I'm gonna show you something real quick. If we select it, we can select the middle here and then manipulate that. And then you can look down here and see what that manipulation is doing. See how it's changing things up. Okay, it ain't changing nothing up. Nah, I don't know why. Why you ain't changing nothing up? I gotta hit okay. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing, but I already got some set. I'm gonna select this one here, and um, I'm gonna switch this up here. Oh, we gotta take our global light. Yeah, okay, I see. So let me go back and uh, show you what I'm talking about again. Um, if we hit this down button, we got a few ones we can choose and tweak, right? So the one that I built right now, I chose this one because the way the shading is already set. And then I kind of went in there and, and tweaked it to my liking. And I kind of like to get a, a few bumps, um, dips and valleys, because the dips and valleys give me a little bit more, more things going on, you know what I mean? So let me show you what I ended up coming up with. And if we hit that, um, I select that. I'm gonna show you, this is, the, this is the, end, the end result of what I was trying to make. All right, and that produced this. So we're not done. That's actually chrome, right? And that looks that looks decent. Decent. We could put on our anti-alias or whatever. We're gonna adjust this to normal, although I, that'll really make a whole lot of difference and everything. But uh, and then uh, we can move our lights around, right? Now it's funny how. You, you got to really play around with this light situation because this light situation really makes all the difference in the world on how the end result is going to look. Right? 
So you really got to treat it like a real deal. So something like that. Okay, something like that. Now, I wish I could zoom in. Something like that. That's kind of okay. But before we get back, we're going to come back to this. We're going to come back to this. Let's go over to our couture now. And we add a little bit more shading, right? So right now, I can right here. I'm, I already got something tweaked. And this is it here. Now, nothing is happening right now because I got to turn up the range. So when we turn up the range, we see we got a little bit more more movement here and I like to stick my cursor inside of this uh, number box and literally um, use the rolling the, the you know the roll cursor the roll cursor you know what I'm saying the, the scroll button I, I use the scroll button to kind of navigate through different looks and things like that until I until I can find that that one particular look and I really go back and forth between uh, the couture which is like this here kind of kind of liking that a little bit and then as I see here now I got to go back to um, and bars make some adjustments okay so let me move my light around a little bit okay and we can move this up to like uh, And it's funny, this thing kind of just, um, it like do its own, it have a mind of its own. That's the reason why you gotta, you really gotta play around with it. All right, so. All right, that's cool. Um, let's go back to the couture. And uh, we can adjust this a little bit. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. There we go. We just we just dialed it in. Yeah, just dialed it in right here. And this is pretty much what I would uh what I would go with. We can roll back the other way. You see the numbers getting lower. There's a few other directions we can go. Like we can actually roll. We can we can roll with that one right there at 64. I don't like that. This one is kind of cool too, right? If we select that, oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to back up. But this, this, that's cool right there. I like that one. And then I like, um, probably like the 89 one. Cause it gives me a little bit more sharp, a little bit more places here. And then let's uh, make some slight adjustments here. And we kind of, when we move this up and down and around, we we, we, we kind of tweaking it, affecting the way the light is falling on it, right? So that's pretty good there. We got a lot of a lot of light parts, dark parts. Let's check this up and down. See if there's. All right, so we can either go up or down on this one here. And uh, let's hit OK and let's take a look at it. And uh, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. I think that's it. That's cool, fam. So that's how I like to come up with the different. You know, if you spend a little bit of time on it, which took us about eight minutes. Okay. So now, okay. Now let me show y'all one more thing real quick. This is something that you have to do when you um dealing with that that particular type of effect you want to keep in mind the size of the font the thickness of the font width and all things like that it requires a different type of setting so let's change the font to um let's uh let's say we use that one right and uh let's call this chrome okay uh a few different things happen when this when they all together right like right that separate things happen Let's click this and depart and break them up so that they won't treat each other like uh, mercury, right? So let's pull it apart, give it the individuals. Yeah, we want that. Okay, cool. Um, and um, so, so when you use a different type of font and the fonts is a little thicker, you 
probably gonna want to tweak it a little bit more or tweak it separately, right? You gotta, you gotta make some, some minor adjustments because not a font width is different. So you wanna get in there and kinda tweak it according to your understanding of, of how you want that particular font to look, right? So that's kinda cool. We go to the couture. Um, I move that around a little bit, see what we're working with. Okay, so this, this look here might fit this better as a particular chrome type thing. Let's see, that's too many wide, too many lines. Okay, that there we go. I found something. You gotta find it. You know, dial it in. Keep dialing it till you find it. You're gonna get the look, right? But you gotta be patient. Be a little patient. It's gonna, it's gonna pay off. So I think this one here might be kind of okay. A few things I can do. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's go back to this. Let's see, if, adjusting the light a little bit. Okay. So we see what's happening. We're turning it. Um, okay. See that? That's what I'm talking about. See, so certain things like that. You see, we had this light hidden at the top, right? And we can use those as really good indicators of uh, really what's popping. Now let's turn our shade up darker. You see. Um, let's see, multiply might be okay. Um, okay, so that's doing that's doing good. And um, let's see the entire list. Okay, so that's good. But you see now, you see, you know, turning up the shadow mode, we we making the, the shadows dark black, and then we still kind of experiencing a little bit of the gray in the middle, and then we got the really hot white, right? So if we select and we kind of hit and back that up a little bit, we see the real you know crispiness of that chrome so if we add other little things like um, what we already know about glows like let's make another layer then we go to linear dodge and then we go to our brush and we we'll select a, like a gray here and we since it's on linear dodge it's going to fade it for us and uh, let's get a fade brush let's turn this up and let's kind of hit a few little highlights right boom You know, that little bit alone right there adds to the realism of it. You see? Now we keep in mind it don't hit everywhere, right? That's obvious it's gonna hit there. Oops, no, that was that was ugly, right? Just obviously it's gonna hit these certain places, right? And then we can go in here and get our star brush. Get our star boy. Bam bam, double click, and boom. Matter of fact, here we can make this even lighter, baby. Oh man, y'all hit my crazy grand. I'm about to go get her, man. We about to make some YouTube videos. All right, you see that? Boom! See that? Beautiful, beautiful chrome, beautiful chrome. Um, but you know the um. Oh, and guess what? Uh, man, I had another idea, but you know what? I'm gonna wrap this up, man gonna wrap this up let's go back up here and tweak this real quick we ain't quite done with the Cadillac those D's on that tree those boy the Cadillac uh let me open that up and go back to our boss and then we gotta turn up the blacks on here there we go and now since we turned up the blacks on there we maybe want to adjust and get a little bit more whites up in there right and uh, let's adjust this until we okay cool and uh, we we'll hit that and uh, we can go back up to this layer add some more little sparks up there Ting. Ting. you know what I mean Ting. love nothing but love baby and um, that's how we can create and produce some like super realistic like chrome or mercury or I don't know man you know what I'm saying but uh, that looks pretty doggone good, right? You know, don't you think so? All right, so I hope you guys benefited from that. And I got some other fun tutorials that I got coming up, right? And if you really want to get into some real big, big detail, again, 
make sure y'all go over to let me see if I can pull this up. All right, make sure y'all hit up our learning center at todaysbeats.com. Become a VIP member, a VIP student, and you can learn any and everything from graphic art to music production to video production and um, web design development and um, all the other fun things that you're going to need if you're in the industry and you want to um, you know do your own thing you don't want to depend on nobody else so you're mixing and you're mastering and all the beautiful things that you can learn in the music industry but what's the difference i'm a nut bag i'm a nutcase i am the nutty professor so you get to learn from a fruit basket as opposed to a, 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 a prude or what you call them a stiff yeah i guess that's it all right, but if we get on your nerves, then of course go to Berkeley and get them, you know, niggas fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, still don't learn nothing. All right, fam. Uh, thank you for listening. All jokes aside, um, I enjoy doing this type of stuff, and there's a lot more where this come from. I know I've been mi- missing in action for a while, but um, not only am I back, it's about to get 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 get. <laughs> I am not erasing that. <laughs> it's about to get crazy. It's about to get crazy, y'all. So make sure y'all stay tuned and I'll keep that posted. And uh, again, going over there to uh, VIP. And I have a very special treat um, coming up for y'all really, 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 really soon. So make sure, make sure y'all stay tuned, pay attention to find out what that is. Okay. So until the next time, thank you for watching. And uh, I guess uh, I guess that's it. So I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you when I spin it. And I'll try to take some Theraflu for my code so I won't sound nasally next time I do a tutorial. All right. See y'all later. Peace.